one of the things that motivates people to join a group practice is being able to focus their efforts and their energy on clinical work rather than things like admin and clinical governance. So um, at Inner Melbourne, we take care of that for our psychologists. We, um, what we do do is we liaise about those things in our team meetings so that that process is collaborative. But ultimately, I see my role as a director, um, one of my roles, as making sure that we have policies and procedures in place so that we're thinking ahead for the ways that things could potentially go wrong and, and planning ahead rather than reacting in the moment. Um, all of our policies and procedures have a therapeutic lens um, across them. So an example is our cancellation and rescheduling policy. That's something we decided on as a group and we've actually adjusted it slightly across time based on feedback from clients and our own feedback in working with clients. Um, but that policy is flexible because we, we know that when you're working with a client, um, there needs to be that flexibility that sometimes we need to be firmer with our boundaries and other times we need to be more gentle. And so we really leave uh, that up to our psychologist. But we have some um, generally kind of agreed upon ways of working through things as a group. And I think that that just means that as a, as a psychologist, you know that you've kind of got all those boxes ticked and um, that you, you know then that you're more likely to be practicing in an ethical and, and thoughtful way.